Uh-huh. Okay. Great. Word on the street is conservatism is the new punk rock. Just ask Alex Jones's British sidekick. Leftists are desperately clinging to this idea that they have the monopoly on cool. Conservatism is the new punk rock. And while the old punk rock was a subculture of anti-establishment teenagers screaming into a microphone about being misunderstood and underrepresented, the new punk rock is just as cool and just as anti-establishment. And even the lamestream media agrees. Of course, technically the right controls like the whole establishment. But whatever, conservatives are underrepresented, hardcore punks, and we have a badass message for the libs. Conservatism is the new punk rock. Hell yeah. I'm excited to prove how punk rock me and my friends are. That's why I came to the hip new youth movement CPAC, which is being held at today's version of the CBGBs, the Gaylord National Resort and Convention Center. It's a mosh pit of MAGA hats, plastic lanyards, and golf putters. Nothing here is mainstream. It's not even safe. Conservatism is the new punk rock because it, it involves rebelling against the establishment and going our own way. It's all about going against the establishment at the time. It's about uh, rebellion. It's rebranding. Being a Republican is a punk rock type figure. It's rebellious. It's just got out of puberty and it's like there's so much. And they're ready to just jump around and just dump into something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Jumping around and going wild, just like conservatives. And everyone has crystal clear reasons why. Conservatism is punk rock because, um, I think, uh, so I guess, I guess, how, how, how can I cut a good analogy? Okay, so it took a second to think about specifics, but really, the new conservative movement is totally punk. How is Trump punk? How is he punk? All right, so he gets into office and he says, I want tax reform. Punk. One thing that's punk is cutting taxes. What's another thing? I would personally say immigration. So deporting people is punk. Punk, punk. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily punk. say deporting. Let me rephrase that. Legal merit-based migration is punk. Punk, punk, punk. Moving the US Embassy in Israel from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. That's number three. Punk, punk, punk. Nothing but punks here. Totally punk. Punk. These new punk ideas in no way remind me of the past 40 years of traditional Republican doctrine just wrapped up in a new slogan meant to attract younger voters. Conservatives are definitely punks. You're not punks. You've co-opted the language from punk rock, but it doesn't make it punk. This is Damien Abraham of the seminal punk band Fucked Up. Hands up supposedly an expert on punk rock, and just because he's in one of the biggest independent punk bands, spent 15 years touring and also bleeding on his fans, he thinks he knows more than me, Tim. Tim Balls. Punk music is all about being anti-authority, and like there's nothing more anti-authority than becoming president. But then you're the authority. Punk isn't just this anarchy symbol. It's about looking at things around you and kind of seeing through the BS. You know, I've been listening to a lot of my favorite commentators on YouTube. They are saying that like our movement is punk. Can you name like a single punk band? Oh, I hate punk music. I just want to say controversial <laughs> stuff that gets me attention, because that's punk. <laughs> Damien thinks that if I'm going to call myself punk, I need to learn the basics of punk. But little does he know that the littler that I know allows me to pretend that I have a full understanding of the thing that he thinks I know little about. Punk has always been a fairly inclusive place. The Clash, you have songs, they're talking about anti-racism, they're talking about anti-fascism. Well, you have bands like The Bad Brains, a group of black kids in DC, riot girl, women that felt underrepresented or not represented at all, people of different sexualities, trans people, bands in California like Black Flag, you have Dead Kennedys. Dead Kennedys, now that's a band I think I can get behind. <laughs> Wow, Damien sure has a lot to teach me. But I zone out when I start hearing things I don't want to hear. It seems like you're getting really hung up on the music aspect of the punk thing. You need to understand that conservatives are, are punks without the music. Then what would make them punk? So what you're saying is we need some of our own music to really unite the message that we are putting out there. What, like with you singing in a fucking punk band? <laughs> Damien had just made a really good point. Difficult for businesses. Unions, unions, unions. Hamstrings. Oh, 
You got me. This sucks. This sucks. This is like a more corporate, shittier warp tour. <laughs> What's warp to her? <laughs> One, two, three, four. Oh. Ronald Reagan and Jesus Christ. Corporations are very nice. 